think he might have slightly overcommitted to the theme. <laughs> It's that time of year again, Mrs. Beard. What do we do? What do we do in December? Eat all the festive menu treats. Yeah, a dependable video. Yeah, of course you can, mate, yeah? That's a giant Have you got a body in that suitcase? Look at the size of it. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, appreciate it. I didn't want to go McDonald's too early because I have, I've been told that they're doing the, uh, the festive pie. The festive pie is back. Strawberry milkshake, sir. Strawberry, yeah. Medium? Uh, no, large. Large. My man. There you go. Gives you a number and then in no time you will be enjoying a yeah. strawberry milkshake. Strawberry milkshake, thank you. I feel helpful, you. you're alright. Yeah. It's a good day for the day. Helping that old fella get his strawberry milkshake. Oh they do they do have the festive is it available though? That's just artwork. You never know. Festive pie? Yes. Get the festive pie. Get the yeah. I've already put it in. Yeah, well I wanted that, yeah for sure. But um I feel like is cheese festive? Cheese melt dippers, that's not really. Just get the pie. Is that all you're having? Yeah, I mean, I'm only getting. You get a half meal. You get a Christmas toy. You get a Christmas toy? Yeah. Well then, okay, yeah, get a happy meal. I'll treat you. I'll treat you to a happy meal. <laughs> what did you order, Mrs. Beard? A festive fish finger happy meal. A, a very, an incredibly festive fish finger happy meal, of course. Fish fingers known for being consumed by the dozen at Christmas time. Why is everyone staring? Probably because we've got a massive camera. I get the feeling that's it. We could, we could encounter some resistance today, but I'll just, I'll just whip out the, the old phone and show them the YouTube channel, that might do. <laughs> oh yeah, I love these. Festive pie is about the only thing I'll ever get excited about at McDonald's. Are you happy with your, uh, your, your toy? <laughs> oh, is it a bauble? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think so. I'm not sure that will go with the theme of our tree, but um, I'll leave such decisions to you. You'll leave Christmas to me. Yeah. I'm incredibly happy that they're back again this year. It's pretty much custard and uh, mince pie filling, but they deep fry it. Oh, hot. Oh. Oh. The edge was, was not warm, but the middle of it was like molten lava. It's making my eyes water. We've hit the mince pie filling. Ooh. Sorry, I keep blowing crust at you. You made light work of the chips, darling. You trying to crack Matt Stoney's time for the fastest Happy Meal ever eaten? <laughs> That's still on my bucket list. I'd love to do a video with Matt before I die. I don't think Matt's, Matt's he's like 10 years younger than me. Whoa. Well, I thought we should go to uh, Yo Sushi. Um, Yo sushi to make it a little bit multicultural. Do they have a Christmas menu? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Yeah, cross game. Watch you this morning. Oh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Is that we're in or do we yeah. 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 Come on, let's have a family photo. Oh my god. You better get, get down in front of me, darling. Come on. <laughs> all right, nice to meet you all. Thank you. Have a good one. Have a good one. Ooh. I hope it's warm in your sushi. You're just grinning moronically at people. Someone just put off a camera in my face, we're good. Oh, did they? <laughs> like that scene in the Louis Theroux Scientology movie where he's filming the Scientology people and they're filming him. So you want me to see if I can beat you yeah. to the top, right? Okay. Yeah. Can't lose. You're gonna want it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna win. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why she beat me? <laughs> so my defense. I saw you winning as well. <laughs> what was my technique like? Oh. You look <sighs> ridiculous running. Yeah. In my defense, I got a little bit clogged up around the uh, around the top of the escalator. I think. But the first customers. Yeah, nobody eats sushi at eleven o'clock. Do they have to, you darling? Yeah, why not? Oh, have you seen the videos? <laughs> oh, thanks for watching, mate. Appreciate it. Unsurprisingly, the, the McDonald's festive mince pie did not give me the uh, the requisite energy I needed to perform to the best of my ability. I think we need a rematch at some point. <coughs> I, I meant like on a different day, not <laughs> not necessarily today. 
this is what we're going for. Now you might be wondering, what's festive about fried chicken? Well, apparently it's customary in Japan to eat fried chicken on Christmas day. So, your sushi in homage to that, I've, uh, I've put like a special Christmas fried chicken on the menu. So that's what I ordered. Oh, what Christmas a bright freedom. time, it's the right time to rock the night away. I love this song because it is a good song, but also because that scene in Mean Girls. <laughs> that looks yummy. Ready? Yeah, go on then. Nice. Take it easy, take it easy. I don't want to drink the stuff. That kind of looks like a corn dog. I know, why are we just thinking chicken. that? Where are you going to shop for your Instagram? Ooh, there's somebody. You alright, mate? <laughs> He smelled fantastic. Oh, it is a corn dog. It's a good corn dog too. Oh, <laughs> that is yummy. I don't know, I don't know if it's a gravy or the, the glaze on the actual chicken itself, but it, it's got a, kind of a an aromatic, wintry spiciness to it. So do you want some of the corn? There you go. Enjoy. This has some kind of slaw with it. So I'm going to put it on the chicken tender. Enjoy the two together. That was only $9.95. Yeah, there, there are loads of chips. The gravy is peppery, so I suppose you could call that festive. Oh man, people are going to be watching this now thinking, what is wrong with this dude? Right, now we got a big piece. <laughs> the gravy is good. The gravy, mate, that's what makes it festive, really, yeah. A little bit like, you know, when KFC do it. It's nice to meet you, mate. Can we find the Griggs in the suburbs? Yes. I could for two hours. I might be thin, but I'm not that thin. Try not to take my kneecaps off. All right, onward. I need some petrol. So there is a Greg's at this petrol station. We'll kill two birds, one stone. Nice, classy. <laughs> Greg's inside a petrol station. My girl. That's how I roll, darling. <laughs> Just how I roll. Which side is it at your side? I don't know. You've only been driving this car about three years. <laughs> <laughs> that kid had a, uh, he had a sprint on. Could have used some of his talent earlier on, racing against Mrs. Bean. <laughs> if I were you, I'd just kind of pull it forward into that little space right ahead of us. Oh, I am going to, darling. I don't think they have any festive menu items there. Still, it's gonna be rather difficult to resist, but I think I can do it for the sake of the theme of the video. Should we get inside to Greg's? Let's go. We've got spa. Why did they ditch that jingle? It was ace. Have they got the festive bakes? I think so. Yeah. They haven't changed the recipe have they from last year. Still the same. I think so. I, uh, I love these things. Plus, you get a picture of it. Yeah. yeah. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? <laughs> you know, I, was, I, was, I wasn't trying to be romantic, I was just trying to feel oh. the temperature of the pasty. <laughs> Why would you change a timeless design? Reliable. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think it's a little bit lacking in cranberry. It still tastes great, there's lots of stuff in it. Oh, now we're hitting a family. I think I could happily eat just a few of these for Christmas dinner. <laughs> the only problem with festive bakes is they don't last long enough. Ah. I know somebody else who doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> How did do I know that was coming? <laughs> now I feel festive. I feel like it's kind of a watershed moment when you have your first festive bake of the year. From thence on, you are in the Christmas spirit. <coughs> Pardon me, where next? 
Oh yeah, there's a, there's a Leon nearby. It's quite a it's quite a rare fast food chain in England. I don't want the inner part of your cold cheese and onion pasta now. Let's get a move on. Feels kind of lazy getting in the car to travel like I don't know, 300 oh, yards. Nice. You walk, I drive. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I made it. <laughs> one all, one all. I don't normally just, you know, we don't spend the whole day racing usually, <laughs> but one all. Thought I'd let you win. We've got a bit of a soft spot for Leon. Thanks for holding the door open for me. That sounds pretty Christmassy, bauble and squeak. Yeah, let's get one of those. Right. We're all in the pitch here. It might be really weird, and that's where I picture you. Can we like watch you? Oh, do you? Let's do this. Yeah, awesome. Oh, thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Anything you need, Adam. Just Cheers. Thanks. 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 They brought the food. They said said my name, and they would, they would say, oh, Adam, food for Adam. Naming, and we're gonna put food with me. I'm not that really inappropriate. I like it. Ketchup. He, he came over. He said, "Anything else you need, let me know." That's nice, isn't it? Fast food with a personal touch. Mm. Do you want me to open it for you? Bauble and squeak. Uh, that's, that's my level of joke. That could you uh, could you pull the flaps back a little bit, Mrs. Beard? <laughs> Look at the cranberry in there. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was that's not that funny. Uh, I don't know how very, well you can. Very inappropriate. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can taste the saginess of it. See you later, boys. Nice to meet you. That definitely looks pretty festive. It's colourful. You've got some greens and reds in there. It's got that stuffingy taste. Should have made it into a circle, so it was a proper barber. My own feedback. What a, a perfectly spherical wrap. Mm -hmm. They've also got a Christmas curry, which I thought might be a little messy. So I forewent the curry and got the, the wrap, but. I'm quite glad I got this, it's, it's good. Yeah, it does, it smells nice. So seductive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to say I cannot be sexy. I could be sexy if I had to be. Are you ready? Right now. <laughs> it might be a little early to say it, but that's my favourite item so far. And I don't even think I have meat in it. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking Tim Hortons next. Timmy Hortons? Why? They got something got a Christmas Christmassy? Christmas hot dog? Christmas hot dog? Don't tie with my emotions. Did they really have like a Christmas hot dog? Alright, come on, let's do it. You're gonna have to have one more race now because it's one all. Yeah, how ready? Tim Hortons. No, that's miles away. <laughs> right, Timmy Hortons it is. Yeah. You're eating nerds. Here we are, Timmy's. They've got a large Canadian contingent, you know, who actually, um, it's almost like a religious experience for Canadians to go to Tim Hortons, you know. That's what I think of your bauble. Surprised you found it. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough of you already, isn't it? <laughs> Let the funny stairs commence. You, why do you keep making out like I made you dress this way? This was your choice. This is how you dress when it gets within like three weeks of Christmas. Six weeks of Christmas, actually. After you. Thank you. Cheers. No worries. Enjoy the timbits. Hi. Thank you. Hi. You alright? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Holiday hot dogs you weren't letting. They sound yummy. Tim's bacon and cranberry hot dog. Focus be damned, that's that's what we're getting. 529? It's pretty pricey for hot dog, but go on, are you paying? Oh no, you've got you already got my wallet out. I see, I see what you're doing. Do you want, do you want a drink or anything? I reckon we get the Christmas donut just because it that. looks very festive. Oh nice to meet you, mate. How are you doing? Look at that beard as well. You don't mind me getting that beard on camera, no, do you? No. Look at that. Spectacular. That looks a bit girthy. This was your spot, Mrs. B. I had no idea they even did hot dogs, let alone holiday hot dogs. You know, so the, the cheese is still kind of semi-solid. She 
start. The idea behind this one is is really good, but the execution is pretty bad. The cheese isn't really melted. That bacon looks like it's being cooked under a light bulb or something. Let's hope the donut redeems it. I'm glad we got two items from Tim Hortons because I feel like that's going to give him a second chance. Wrong. I like the idea of the holiday hot dog, but the execution wasn't quite what it should have been. Let's have a look at this Christmas donut. I feel like we got this last year. Mmm. Good. That's what Tim Hortons does best, right? Donuts, baked goods. Maybe stay away from the the hot dogs here. Yeah. It's a bit like me doing spicy food. I can give it a try, but it's kind of outside my wheelhouse. This is good. This, I thought this was gonna have like a, a bit of a lime lime taste, or like some kind of fruity taste, but it does not. All it's got like a kind of a spicy, not spicy in that it's hot, like a Christmas, a winter spice type flavor to it. There's nothing in it though. I thought it was gonna have filling, especially since it has a bum hole. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of filling right at the bottom. Where uh, where to next? Starbucks. We're at the festive yeah. I suppose yeah, they're doing the eggnog latte this year. That is my favourite. That's the only drink, apart from black coffee, that I would actually buy from Starbucks. Let's try it. Why not? Yeah. Hit and miss at Tim Hortons. We could have raced over here. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Beard. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. This is so surreal. How's it going? Can nice to Of course you can have a hug. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thanks for watching. I would love to bump in too. This is so <laughs> Well, I, if I smell a bit, it's the food. It's not my natural scent. Well, my mate, we've got a different... Can I get a selfie? Of course you can, yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you take a picture? That's not a selfie. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got it. No, we got it. Now I bumped into you. Yeah. It's quick. Oh, it doesn't have cream on top. The whole point of getting a fancy coffee from Starbucks is you get the whipped cream on top, right? It does taste good though, so I feel like I'm gonna let them off. You, you're a sucker for eggnog, aren't you? I could drink eggnog like it was water, you know? I once tried to make my own eggnog, but I, I got a recipe that said you shouldn't use raw eggs, so you have to lightly cook it and it just turned into scrambled eggnog. The festive pie was pretty good. Festive mince, uh, festive bait. The festive, yeah, the festive bait was good. The fest, the holiday hot dog was not good. But the festive donut. The key here is that everything's got everything oh. that's got festive in the title. This is like, it's like drinking pure fat. You know, like they made coffee with lard or something. It doesn't actually look like it's much, right? It just looks like an average milky coffee. But that noggy flavour is is something else. I could drink gallons of this, you know. I'll probably have a heart attack after not many weeks, but um, it is just, there's something special about it. It's a bit industrial around here, isn't it? We have a great deal of character. It's just shops and warehouses. We should have gone down there. You wanted to go to Lapland. That would have been a video. Yeah. A video? I just turned Dutch then. Video. Vi video with a V, not F. I feel like it's going to be Christmas Day by the time we get to the, the, the end of this traffic jam. <laughs> Somebody got footage of me running when we were racing. <laughs> we have to download that and overlay it on the, on the running segment. Probably with some Benny Hill music in the background. <laughs> Is it even open? I can, I can, all I can see is shutters. I don't see open windows. Does not suggest that they are receiving customers. Is it open? Is that going in here? Yeah, I think so. Looks a bit sweaty. The, the, <laughs> the windows are all <laughs> steamed up. Just going back in. Alright. Here we are. Oops. <laughs> Careful. There's a bush there. Oi! Oh yeah, it's got a rear entrance. Oh, 
Thanks for the dough. Can we get the, the six inch? Uh, Festive turkey stack. That thing, yeah. Two of them. Uh, just one. Just one, just please. One of them, one yeah. bread. Uh, Italian. I'd avoid the salad because you, you, don't, you don't have this salad at Christmas, do you? Spinach. Go on, I'll have a bit of spinach. Is that Christmas? Well, it's a bit more substantial than lettuce. We better take this out to the car because I'm, I think I have about 3% battery left. <laughs> Thanks, have a nice day. <laughs> he called you an elf. <laughs> I'm no, coming around this side. I, I'm coming around because I need to get the secondary battery. Yeah, okay. Otherwise, the video is going to stop at this point. <laughs> nice. The hash brown medallions in there are a nice touch and the spinach I think makes it look a little bit classier than it really is. <laughs> the problem I have with Subway is the bread isn't really bread is it? What is it? It's like some kind of bread cake hybrid. It actually doesn't taste too bad. You taste the hash, hash, hash browns? <laughs> I feel like the cheese kind of saves it. You wouldn't want to get this without cheese. It looks like somebody's marker pen at the bottom. <laughs> I'm sure they haven't done that. It's definitely not the worst thing I've ever had from Subway. I will say that. That's about as kind as I can be. Wait, was it better than the hot dog? It probably is slightly better than the hot dog, yeah. Although there's not much in it. I just, I would never go to Subway by choice. I love the smell of Subway. Yeah, but you don't eat food from there. Yeah, I know, but I like the smell. Oh, I barely had anything to drink today. Apart from that eggnog latte thing. That looks a bit limp. It looks like one of those plastic fake turds you used to get from <laughs> Smithies, you know, when you were a kid. put it in your bed. Sticky toffee pudding cookie. What's that got to do with Christmas? That's a year-round dessert. Especially if you're English. My mum probably has that like five times a week. <laughs> Are we gonna go somewhere good next? Chiquito. Go on them! Yay! Do you think they'll have some uh, Christmas cocktails? I was a little bit half cut after the last time we yes, visited I think, Chiquitos. I think they will. Sweet, do it! Like, nobody wants to watch somebody eat in a car, just ever. Would you watch somebody eat in a car? We're not doing all of the videos in the car, are we? It's just one single part of the video. It works if you're that review bra guy. Oh, no. Oh, man. I think if my calculations are correct, we might only be at about 4,200 calories right now, which is child's play for this channel. Come on now. I think we've got to make it to at least 10 restaurants. And I would say, I don't know, about, about, what, at least 8,000 calories? I think the subscribers would forgive me for falling just shy of 10 since the point of this video is just to eat Christmas stuff. Oh, the sun is starting to set now. There's not too much daylight left. Oh, is this how you're leaving it? Interesting. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh. Go. Oh. <laughs> That's my Rocky. You got a 30 yard head start on me there, I still beat you. I'm tired. Life in the old dog yet. Oh, I've got a stitch now though. There's a habit of closing doors on me like Is it even open? <laughs> Is there nobody in here? Festive. So it does exist. The, the, the wait is coming. Yes, please. Yes, please, mate. That's all right. No. I'm not allergic to anything apart from smaller than average elves. <laughs> Thanks very much, buddy. Thank you. Let's take a look. They've got. Uh... I thought you'd like the Jolly Jalapeno Jam Glazed Salmon. Jalapeno? Jesus Christ, the festive fajita is 1600 calories. Oh, we need to get the highest calorie one. Yeah, I feel like. Let's, let's go yeah, with let's that. Let's get the festive fajita. I don't understand how a fajita can be 1600 calories. Well, it's got two skewers of chorizo, pigs in blankets, and chicken, served with tortilla, sour cream, cheddar cheese, guacamole, and cranberry salsa. All right, let me try some of this cocktail. It's creamy, decadent, that's what I call it, luxurious. Gotta get a selfie for the gram, right? You used to take a selfie of you with a glass of water. Yeah. Yeah, it's a real moment not to miss there. Look at me with my glass of water. <laughs> Ooh, steaming. Thank you very much. 
Do you want another drink? Um, I would love one. What yeah. can you get to order um, in? Can we have an angry Santa, please? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Tis the you. season. I don't, I don't think I'm buying that this is really, even with I'm put some bits the on. wraps, 1600 calories. I mean, I see the pigs in blankets. What is it, Cumbria salsa or something? Yep. Okay. A bit of cheese too. Yeah, let's get some cheese in there. <laughs> Thanks for what we on rations. This is World War II. You know what, the peppers and the, uh, the pigs in blankets and the cranberry sauce really surprisingly work together. It does taste good. Are you enjoying your festive garlic bread? Yeah, very much so. So you want all of this meat in there? Well, you could split it over the next two wraps, maybe. <laughs> People are going to go mad in the comments saying, that's not how you wrap a fajita. Mm. The cranberry sauce and the chorizo is what makes it, I think. And the food. It's the last bit of meat. Go. Oh, thank, thank you. you very much. Wow. <laughs> okay with food. Yeah, look, oh, it's thank fantastic. You. Thank you. There's a little bit of candy floss on top of this one. I think it should be mandatory from December 1st for restaurants to play only Christmas music. Oh, no music. Oh. Can't miss out these pieces of cheese. I'm crazy, but and I'm weird. <laughs> I don't know why I can't pick it up. Let's have the, uh, the old candy floss out of the top here. Yeah. <laughs> I just did it including the stock. Drink some more of this cocktail. That's like pure syrup, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I held that for like a good, what was that, 15 seconds? That's all we're going now. Right, I'm on it. Oh, you held the door this time. Thank you very much. Oh. Come on, piss head. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm getting too old for this full day of eating lock. I feel like we, we should try that, um, what they are calling the pigs in blanket shake. It's definitely gonna be next, I don't know if it's gonna be last. The angelic glow. Let's go try out this Christmas milkshake. You know, I lost my kneecaps. Oh, here we are. Feels like coming home. Yes, please. Yeah. Sorry, I shouted that really loud. <laughs> I don't know why. This is what we're about to try, or I'm about to try, the pigs in blanket shake, which I suspect is probably just. A slight variation on the normal bacon shake that you can get year round, but at least they made an effort to change the name, I suppose. There we go. <laughs> Why did you throw them down so aggressively? <laughs> Why did they make these chairs so high? Not to stick it in. <laughs> go on then. I can't say no to that question. There is something that's different about it from the normal bacon milkshake, but I'm not sure if that's just because it seems to have slightly less bacon in it. So maybe if it just tastes more vanilla. I think that's <laughs> smart to it. Everybody says. Are you for that. real, man? Mmm. <laughs> it's strange to me the amount of people that still react negatively to the idea of bacon in a milkshake. When you're drinking something which is so sweet and creamy, that little bit of saltiness and smokiness gives it, I think it just works, you know? How many calories for that? 950 apparently. That's obscene, isn't it, for a, <laughs> what is basically a drink. Do you need help getting down off the chair, Mrs. Bit? No. It's a bit of a way for you. Oh, you alright? Alright, onward. I've, I've still got the shake, don't worry. I'm not leaving this time. Mm. 
It's decent, it's not festive. I think we should go to Almost Famous where I know they have a festive menu. Oh. <coughs> oh. Oop, almost forgot the, uh, the shake. I'm not leaving that behind. <coughs> VIP. Be careful, I can check in my hat because it's cold. Can you stop swearing, please? Thank oh, you. Alright, mate. Yeah, Thanks yeah, for watching, cheers. man. I appreciate it. Cheers. Can you get a picture of me in front of the tree? Yes. You have to stand a bit further back. Oh, you with the tree. Alright. It's not a very decadent tree. That'll do. No. I think. It's funny when people don't know who you are. <laughs> no, Why is that funny? No, because that's like, people shouldn't really know I am. Yeah, but I am, after all, like, just an idiot who eats food on the internet. He knew, he knew who you were, and she didn't. And she's what? like, she, she was like, I have no idea what's going on. Good lord, look at this! It's like people are fleeing some kind of natural disaster. Look at, I've never seen crowds like this in Leeds. Almost famous. All right, what's with the rave music? Family love me, but you don't. Oh. Yeah, I just don't they love me, but you don't. As in, like, yeah. my mum literally was like, challenges. Have you seen this guy before? Yeah. And Thank they're you. obsessed. Oh, that, well, tell him I said hi. We get the big table? Oh my goodness, thank you. I like how she said, Her family love me. But, like, by implication, that means she's excluding herself from that statement. <laughs> like, they love you, and me, not so much. Yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> Most people prefer to have pictures with, with just limbs. I think if they could vote me out, that'd be it. Why change the habit of a lifetime? If I ever eat here at Christmas time, it's always a summer nutcracker. Just because it looks so wacky. So I think I'm gonna go with that. I wonder how much money's worth of, uh, of sweeties are in this table. It's gotta be a good, good hundred quid's worth, surely. Ooh. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Look at that, thank you very much. It's, it's even like lightly dusted with what looks like snow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. This looks yummy. Enjoy that. That looks it's perfection. It's taken us all day, but I think we finally found something which you can call truly in the spirit of the season. I'm sure it's going to be wildly impractical to eat, um, but it is festive, you got to say it. Candy cane in there. Some kind of cranberry sauce. Pigs and blankets on top. Gotta love it, and gravy on the side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think this is like half a sausage roll, right? Some kind of seasonal sausage roll. Oh, yeah. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home, I'll be warm. I just want the gravy. There's the gravy. Put it down. Oh, all right. For me, Almost Famous is easily, easily the best burger joint in the country, with the exception maybe of Five Guys, but there are different propositions, right? Five Guys is fast food. This isn't really fast food. And they do lots of wacky stuff here. I've kind of fallen out with Five Guys a bit lately because I heard that they refuse to put peanut butter on your burger now, if you ask. Which is a shame. You can still get a pot of peanut butter and put it on yourself, but it kind of defeats the point, doesn't it? Sexy. <coughs> Are you trying to say that I have no sex appeal, darling? Come on now. Can I trouble you for some? Oh, yeah. Oh, I have been well fed today. Uh, every day, yeah. Now I'm in the spirit. 
wish it could be Christmas. Oh, yeah. We definitely saved the best till last. Are you going to eat candy cane? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think I'm going to leave it? Is it in your gravy? It's basically... Ugh. Even I've got a line. Ooh, that's minty. Why would you combine mint with that? I guess it's for afterwards. A bit like a palate cleanser. <laughs> yeah. For Christmas. Perfect tense of video. I mean, maybe we'll just leave it there. Look at that gut. Oh. It's just where my belt's sticking out. I'm talking about me. <laughs>